Howdy folks, welcome to Wanna Eats. Today, uh, me and a few of my colleagues, we are heading to the new KR library, new randomly renovated. Uh, we are going to check out whether we can actually work from there, sort of like a co-working space. Now, if, if it uh, turns out that it can, with the good internet stability and uh, speed, then this is a very good viable option for people to work from there. And um, I'm also very excited today because I'm trying out my ultra wide lens on my Osmo pocket and uh, see whether we can take in more of the size. So most of us took the LRT here when we stopped at Masjid Jamia and we just walk over here. This is uh, the KL library that is at uh, Datara Merdeka, not to be mistaken with the one at uh, Turaza. Uh, as we are walking towards the junction here at uh, Datara Merdeka. the old high court on the left hand side here and the Taramedica right there crossing the street Here we go, we are arriving at the library. It's right at the end there, where you see the glass facade, windows. I love Kuala Lumpur. This is a city gallery right on the left hand side. It's a very nice building. Not sure if you can see the sign right up there, which is it says Pembukaan Semula, Pustakaan Kuala Lumpur, 4th uh, November. So this is a reopening of the KL Library on the 4th of November. So which is quite recent. All right, so let's head on in. Oh, there's even a library for kids on the left as you enter. Oh, this is beautiful. I'll take my kids here one of these days. I'm loving this new renovation. Very nice. There's an adult section. So here's where you register. Okay, thank you. You see Borang? Okay. So once upon arrival, you have to register. Yeah. Now this will give you access to the whole library, including the private rooms. Yeah. Looks simple enough. Yeah. Right, so we have to share the storage uh, because yeah. we cannot take out our bags. Hence, uh, we have to take out our laptops and bring it up ourselves. It's not exactly convenient and uh, we have to leave all our drinks on the outside so we are given two storage units to share this should be interesting because we have to carry our laptops and our chargers and so on not exactly convenient again we're at the ground floor 
first floor is where we are headed. So there's a cafe, administration, so on. Right, so let's head on up. Oh, I love this. Plenty of tables. You can walk out of. Obviously, non smoking. I like the vibe here, the lighting. Very nice. Okay. I do wonder what, where this staircase leads to, though. So, let's head on in and check out if we can get a room. I think it's over here. Oh, there's even a. Alright, doesn't work. Oh, so this is the proper library. Wow. And the view is gorgeous. Holy moly. Overlooking the Tarambadeka. <clears throat> wow. people here <coughs> and this is my beloved click in his hat it's a fiction section Here's the economy and business section. Head up to the service counter and ask for access to private rooms and see whether we can get one. Wow, oh, I'm still mesmerized by the setup. Beautiful. This is a library all Malaysians can be proud of. So we're heading to the private room, room number one. Wow, wow, cantik ni. Terima kasih. Ada PowerPoint sini ke? Bawa. So, this is a very nice, cozy, single, private room. Fits five or even six comfortably. There's PowerPoints on the floor. Perhaps we need to share because there's only two that I can see on the floor. So this is a creative room one. I believe it's overlooking the highway. Still pretty very quiet actually. Earlier I couldn't really comment loudly because obviously we're in a library. But uh, yeah, this is this is fantastic. Definitely can work here, 
can come in early, make sure uh, you register and get a private room. Also, uh, for the private room, um, it's for members, it's basically uh, free for an hour. At traditional hours at 2 ringgit per hour, which is very reasonable. Uh, it doesn't matter the number of people here, it's, they charge by rooms. So, I mean, if you compare that to a co working space, then they usually charge about 20, 30, 40, or even 50 ringgit per uh, person. Uh, this is a steal. The only, well, the not so good part is actually your bags and your belongings. So, a workaround, as I was uh, told earlier, is that you can bring uh, like a duffel bag. Uh, or an IKEA bag, so to speak, and you will be able to get in. But with backpacks and all that, you just have to put them in the locker. Alright, so I'm gonna bring in my colleagues and uh, start cracking on the work and uh, catch up with you guys later. Alright. Okay, so these are the machines where you can check out your books. I'll place your books here and follow the instructions on the screen. Well, this is. advanced indeed I saw there's another machine here which is right here now there's a touch and go there as well here we have the IMAX station we were told that uh, this setup is basically quite extensive now this IMAX thing costs quite a bit but as a member, you can use it for free. Just have to register. I'm sure this chair is, is quite an investment as well for the library. Now, uh, if you're a designer, or gra um, videographer, producer, editor, I think you can. As a student, I mean, you can definitely use one of the Macs here. Awesome, cool. All right, so let's head on up. It's an entirely different section with more rooms and offices. So they have the science language section here. It's a printing room as well. They have a lot of those uh, single PCs at the end. Pretty cool. But doesn't come with the uh, Macs. Those are PCs. Ah, so that is the internet section. Internet cafe, so to speak. A few people I see inside. There's even a large commute D cube room. Definitely you're able to rent for a larger group of people. Man, if I haven't said it enough, I love this library. So cool. At the end, here we have the DVD, Blu-ray, Library, a KL Collection, what's that all about? There's a D-Studio, wow, big one. <laughs> oh, so this is like a hall that you can rent. Very very big. Love the oval shape here. Wow, it's gorgeous. Here we have the training room. Full of PCs. Alright.
that about does it for our tour. Let's head on down. Alright, to test out the Wi Fi speed here. Right, so we're in our own room, so we're also in our I guess. Okay, let's it You can see it's pretty decent, 62 megabytes download and 28 upload. To show you that I'm actually still here in the library. Well, we've come to the end of the workday and uh, of our time spent here at the KL, new KL library. I think it's a very cozy environment, it's practically free. Um, quiet, peaceful, the internet is fast, stable. I think this is a great option, if you, especially if you're working on your own and need a space to come to and, uh, and plenty of uh, uh, public transport as well. LRT in Masjid Jami, you can just walk on over. Uh, love this place and um, hope you guys come and check it out, support the new library and register for yourself as a member. All right, so thanks for watching. Do subscribe to our channel to be notified of our next videos and uh, that's all folks see you bye from the KL library cheers <laughs>